Barbie's back and she's got some fun hacks and DIY toys to share with you. We're gonna show you hacks that will blow your mind. But before we get started, make sure you show us some love by subscribing, hitting the notification bell, and clicking the thumbs up button if you like this video. All right, let's get crafty. Barbie gondola. Barbie is ready for a romantic gondola ride along the Venice canals. But first we need to cut up a used plastic jug in half. Mark the cutting line with a marker, then carefully cut along the line with an X-Acto knife. Add some chenille stems or pipe cleaners to the lining of the boat to give it a luxurious feel. Glue a seashell to the top where the lid once was. Line up five wide popsicle sticks and glue a smaller stick to the top and bottom of the rug. This is gonna be the bench for Bubby to sit on. Glue it into the boat. While you're at it, glue a couple of foam flowers in as throw pillows. Let's add some seashells to the side of the boat as decoration as well. Then glue on some vines, flowers, and leaves to the back. A seashell here, a seashell there, and a bouquet of flowers for the front of the boat. You can add any decorative jewels or beads you like. Now, this looks perfect for a sunset voyage. Remember when this used to be just a jug? Bon voyage, Barbie. Scooter. Barbie loves adventure, so let's give her a set of wheels so she can cruise around the neighborhood. You'll need a strip of cardboard, these fidget spinner pieces, a pipe cleaner, and a couple of straws. Glue the fidget spinner pieces to the ends of the cardboard strip, like this. Fold your pipe cleaner in half and form it into a half circle shape. Glue it right to the top of the wheel. Glue your long straw to the front and attach the shorter straw as handlebars. Use cotton pom-poms on the ends for handles. Now this is what we call heaven on wheels. Swoosh! Parrot. Barbie wants a pet she can talk to, so let's make her a parrot. First attach a piece of wire to a styrofoam egg, like you see here. Form some yellow polymer clay around the wire. Mold it into the shape of a parrot's head. Make the beak with two smaller pieces of gray polymer clay. Poke a couple of nostrils in each side of the beak. Form his eye from a piece of green clay, then add detail with a needle or toothpick. Stick a craft eye on to complete it. Now let's give this little guy some feet. Form some gray polymer clay around a piece of wire. Form out the little bird toes. And let's give him some toenails too. One thing you definitely need when making a bird is feathers. Lots and lots of feathers. Snip the feathers to fit your parrot, then stick the ends of the feathers into the styrofoam egg. Then glue the feathers onto the side of the egg. When it's all together, it will look like a real parrot. Don't forget the feet! Trim the feathers with scissors to make them look more clean cut. Congratulations, you just made a parrot. Dancing girl. Here's a fun activity to do with your friends. Let's draw a picture of a girl on a piece of paper. You only need to draw the top half. Then cut the drawing out. Be sure to fold it in half first. Keep some extra paper at the bottom and cut it into a U shape. Draw the back side of the girl on the second piece of paper. Form a small paper straw around a wooden dowel. Glue the sides together and set it aside. Now cut a few inches off a colorful straw. Cut two small slits just under the waistline of the doll. Then glue the front and back of the doll together. Next, cut out a long surfboard shape out of a piece of foil craft paper. 
Bend it like you see here. Glue a little foam cube to the bottom end as a platform for the doll. Then pull the plastic ink reservoir out of a pen and cut it in half. And then stick it into the foam cube. Draw a skirt on a yellow piece of construction paper. Bend little pleats into the skirt by folding it into little zigzag patterns and fanning it out. Glue the sides together. Use a rubber band like a belt to secure the skirt to her waist. Glue the other part of the straw to the top of the foil platform you made. Then put the doll onto the holder and blow it into the straw. See how she twirls? So fun! Robot hand. Put on your engineer cap because we're gonna build a robotic hand. It's actually pretty easy to do. Check it out. First, trace your hand onto a piece of cardboard. Cut it out using scissors or an X-Acto knife. Bend the hand where the knuckles would be. Next, cut a straw into small pieces. Glue the pieces in between the knuckle bends on your hand. You'll need three pieces per finger, and then you'll need longer pieces for the palm of the hand, just under the fingers. Bend a piece of cardboard and attach it to the end, like this for your real hand. Thread a piece of yarn through the straw and tie a knot at the top. Glue the knot down so that it doesn't come out of the straw. Do this with all of the fingers. Now put your hand through the hand slot and tie the ends of the yarn onto your fingers. Put an item into the robot hand and pull your fingers back. The robotic hand will actually grasp the object. Pretty cool, right? We just learned a bit about mechanics while having a lot of fun. Spectroscope. Spectroscopes are used to study stars. They work by separating the white light from a star into a wide spectrum of colors. Wrap the tube from a paper towel roll in some decorative paper. Next, measure the end of the scope on a piece of construction paper. Cut out the circle. Then, with an X-Acto knife, cut out a rectangle out of the center of the circle. Glue the circle to the end of the tube. Cut a slit at an upward angle along the side of the tube. Insert a CD or DVD into the slit. Then cut a small rectangular hole in the opposite side of the scope. Hold your tube up to the stars and take a peek inside. How many colors do you see? Now you've got your very own spectroscope for stargazing. Mechanical bird. For all of you young inventors out there, give this a try. First you'll need to draw a bird. Cut it out of construction paper. Then cut out a stand for the bird. Fold it in two places. Get an old matchbox and glue the center of the stand onto one end. Then glue a little bird food in the form of beads and jewels to the other end. Next, carefully poke a hole through the two sides of the stand. Poke a hole through the center of the bird too. Secure the bird in place between the two holes with a piece of wire. Use needle nose pliers to bend the ends in. Test it out to make sure the bird moves the way you want it to. Then secure another wire to the end of the inner part of the box. Carefully poke a small hole in the tail of the bird and attach the wire to the tail. Bend the end in with pliers. Open and close the box to see your bird move and eat his fancy bird seed. Now you are officially a mechanical engineer. Barbie Scientist. Barbie needs a science lab for all of our science projects. Let's make one. We can use gray polymer clay to make her a microscope. Flatten out a small piece and cut it into this shape with an X-Acto knife to make the base. Attach a small piece to the end. Then roll two oval shaped pieces of clay and put them together in a T shape. Push it into the base of the microscope as your condenser. Add another flat piece on top as the stage. Use wire to hold the shape of your microscope arm. Roll out some clay to make the eyepiece, head, and objective lens. Put a couple of hinges on either side of the head. Let's make a globe next. Glue a three inch piece of wooden dowel to the center of a large button. Grab a large round wooden bead. Hold it by putting a pair of tweezers inside the hole. Paint your globe with blue and green paint. In the lab, safety should always come first. How about we make some goggles? Find a piece of clear plastic and cut it into the shape of goggles. Bend at the arms to make hinges so they fit on Barbie's face. That was so easy. Pour some glitter into a small Barbie glass or beaker. And be sure to print out the periodic table of elements and hang it in her lab. Add as many tools and accessories as you like. Now this scientist is ready to make new discoveries. 
Maybe she'll cure cancer or invent the next smartphone. One thing's for sure, she is going to change the world. Kaleidoscope. These are so much fun to make. Here's how we did it. Glue the cardboard tube from a paper towel roll. Trace a circle around the end of the roll. Then use a ruler to draw a triangle inside the circle. Measure the length of the roll. Then measure three even sections, the same length as the roll, onto the back of a sheet of reflective paper. Fold the paper in a triangular shape along the lines. Tape the sides of your reflective triangle together. Cut another circle that is the same size as the end of your tube. Cut a hole in the center of the circle. Measure and trace the circle onto a piece of clear plastic. Use an X-Acto knife to cut it out. Push the reflective triangle inside the cardboard tube. Leave about half an inch of space at the end and put your clear plastic circle over the triangle. Draw a circle with a yellow permanent marker and color in around it. Next, drop in a bunch of jewels, beads, and shiny confetti. Cut another clear plastic circle that is slightly larger than the end of the tube. Glue it into place at the end of your kaleidoscope. On the other end, glue your construction paper circle as the eyepiece. Decorate your kaleidoscope with glitter paper glued all around the outside. Let's give it a try. Hold your kaleidoscope up to the light and peek through the hole. Turn the kaleidoscope to watch the colorful designs change. So pretty. Thanks for watching Crafty Hackers. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more crafty hacks and ideas. See you later.